hello everyone uh, welcome to this video today i'm going to show you uh, how you can launch programs with uh, in uh, speed wm uh, which is using the sp, um, sp menu okay let's uh, go to the repo it's the the same github uh, which is uh, speed uh, gq or something like that just go to sp menu it, it's like d menu more like d menu it's improved d menu okay you can read about it and let's get the, the building it and running it so i'm just going to do get uh, yeah get clone and paste the link of the repo yeah uh, i already did that so that's why it's saying it already exists so let's see the into sp menu if i list the content as you can see there is no make file so how do we do this and just do dot and slash and we run build.sh okay hit that and if all the dependencies are satisfied it's gonna say yes 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 okay we let we let it build it's gonna ask for permissions it's gonna give it yes to install this okay that's cool and we have a, a binary sp menu in slash user local bin that's good okay now we can launch sp menu uh, let me just see the into S speed wm so i can see if i have my key binding for launching sp menu yeah i changed it to p and i also changed the mode key to the alt key so that's what I use. Okay, that's cool. Now let's hit uh, Alt P. As you can see, we have something starting type keyboard something. Okay, let's hit Enter. Yeah, it's it's launched, but uh, I think the font is too small. So let's see the into SP menu menu and change some stuff where do we change that options let's go in options and let's find the font yeah we have the font and it's set to 8 so let's change that to example 16 okay let's let's see what we have Okay, we have this. Of course, you can change however you like this stuff. Let's change the columns to just keep it two. Now lines, let's do how many lines do we want? Let's do six. Six lines. Okay. Can, you can of course change the colors. I did see a themes folder, but I'm not sure that that's working. So a global alpha, we want the alpha patch, of course. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it to the default and save and exit. And let's do a build again, build sh. Okay. It's compiling. Of course, yes. And let's run it again. Yeah, that's a bit more like it. So let's search for stuff. As you can see, we have an answer mode. Uh, if I t hit escape, it's going to show me a normal mode. I don't know what's the 
but I'm not typing anything so that's that's something to explore so okay let me just yeah let's get out of this and let me just close chromium because I want it to use in my terminal so let's launch it try launch anything here chromium yeah it's going to launch that's great okay that's cool of course you can team uh, sp menu we have that if i list the content as you can see we have a themes directory let this to see what we have yeah we have arc dark something cat poaching cyberpunk d menu conf i think it Let's take a look at the install team install. Yeah, it's making a directory. Okay, it's gonna install the themes in dot config sp menu team dot conf. Okay, let's see if there is anything in that directory. Now let config sp menu. Yeah, we have something in there, but we don't have any themes. So let's run that. See if it works anyway. Install. Yeah. It says alternative copy whichever theme you want to use to. Yeah. Let's copy the example. Let's copy cat butchin. CP cat butchin slash home sh config sp menu and theme. Yeah. CD back CD into the config and take a look at that. SP menu. <coughs> Well, because the content I have a run directory, what's in there? Yeah, just a config. So let's not bother with that. Let's see the inter themes. See what do we have here? I think that's it for uh, this video. You can do more. Check out the Git GitHub page if you wanna know more. And you can uh, configure this however you like. You have the the themes directly. You can choose what, whichever theme you want. But I think I like this one, the blue one. Maybe I can change it in the future. Okay. That's it. And uh, see you in the next one. Uh, bye.